My name is Mitch Lozon. I teach mostly CTS here. Um, my role currently uh, is one of a bit more specialty uh, teaching within the campus CTSB umbrella and specifically the AST program, the Auto Service Tech Program. The campus CTSB AST or Auto Service Tech Program is a huge opportunity for students. So students not only get to explore uh, a career pathway in automotives, uh, they actually start their apprenticeship. And so this program is basically um, uh, technical training, and so you're basically completing your first year of NAIT and, and high school, which is a great opportunity, and you're getting a lot of stuff done, and then so after this you would go on to post-secondary and then uh, NAIT, and you would start your second year. This program is the first part of that four-year apprenticeship. It's the first year technical training. And what's unique about it is students get to do that while in high school where every other apprentice usually goes to some post-secondary institution for that first start. So the program is exactly the same. Uh, longer time to complete it a little bit and all the supports of high school. So it's a huge offer, opportunity to get started in the trade. Their first year apprenticeship is completed when they leave this program and the next step is second year. Um, combined with RAF, uh, I've seen students who graduated high school with their first year post-secondary completed. Huge job. So in terms of a career pathway, it's, it's very well laid out and clear. So it is that first step. A little bit unusual because most apprentices would be working first. They'd be indentured as an apprentice. And then usually after the first year would take their first year technical training. This opportunity in high school is a little bit backwards from that. Uh, for some students, they're already doing RAP and they have hours and it's more traditional. Uh, but for many students, they're doing their first year technical training before they gain employment. So it's a great way, a great gateway into that world of work, that work opportunity. First period technical training, uh, the focus is on brakes, steering, uh, big focus on electrical, safety, um, and that translates into many other areas as well. Uh, yeah, I would like to pursue a career in this passion, but who knows where I'll go. This program's great, and I'm glad that I'm here. So most of our students, or uh, the major focus of this course, is to start first year apprenticeship in automotive as an auto service tech, or AST. Uh, but very, very similar to the heavy duty field, for example, where that skill set translates pretty directly. Uh, of course, there's some differences, but it's very, very similar. Uh, but that skill set of apprenticeship, of um, learning at that post secondary level, can be translated to any trade after that. And those that align very closely would be uh, anything in the electrical field, uh, heating and air conditioning, uh, and really anything in apprenticeship. Um, the skill sets are very complementary. Oh, we're very fortunate here at Lazert. Uh, we have uh, probably uh, one of the bigger shops uh, in the city. It's, it's bigger than a lot of the shops that I've worked in in industry, but as a teaching facility, it, it is awesome. We have uh, three spaces that are shared by three uh, automotive teachers, uh, many different programs from the Mechanics 10, 20, 30, all the way to our ASD program. It's an incredibly uh, valuable resource. Our equipment is current. We try to maintain it uh, as current to industry norms as possible. We're constantly updating. We update our fleet of vehicles. Uh, we have, so I don't even know, 20 some odd uh, cars that we own as a school, they belong to the school. And we try to keep those as current as possible. So uh, actually last year, we went through the process of getting rid of all the cars and modernizing our fleet a little bit. Uh, we also do customer work. We get the odd um, customer requests, so that's mixed in as well. And specifically with our campus program, uh, especially offered in the winter, spring is coming, we open up the big door and quite often I'll have four or five uh, student cars that they're working on. Um, especially when it comes to brakes and steering and electrical, it works with our program, so there's an opportunity there for students to work on their own cars. I have a lot of friends and family that have a bunch of work that needs to be done on their cars and I'm the first person they call so I like to learn as much as I can to help out family and friends and also becoming a great technician in the industry. 
I still hear people on the train saying, oh yeah, cars today, they're all computers. It's a new thing. Uh, cars have been computerized for, for my whole career, actually. Uh, most modern cars have 20, 30, 40 onboard computers. So it's a huge part of what we do here. So I have a big focus, and Apprenticeship has a big focus, on, on students having a solid understanding of not only electrical, but electronics. So when students leave me, I hope, if nothing else, I hope they are fluent in that technology. My home school is Lillian Osborne, but I decided to come here for the ATS program. My home school is McNally. And I go to Queenie. And my home school is Emmy Lazare. And I actually graduated last year from Baker and Cape. Yeah, I'm from uh, Queen Elizabeth High School. Campus is a unique situation or a set of circumstances. We get students from all over the district. So we have both uh, grade 11 students, usually of the younger grade. I've had some grade 10s, but typically grade 11 students, all the way up to mature students. So we have a huge mix. Students are together for a big chunk of the day, and they form relate, professional relationships. There's peer teaching that's happening. They form a community of learners. They support each other. And in my experience, after the course, that continues in many cases. I have three former uh, students that are working in the same dealership currently, and that relationship has carried on into the world of work. They're still um, supporting each other, encouraging each other to continue and to complete their apprenticeship, continue in the trade. I've been focusing more on electrical. The electrical here is great. It is a little bit tricky, but it has taught me a lot so far. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to uh, own my own business uh, later on in life. I'm looking, uh, I want to get my uh, journeyman ticket, and after that, um, uh, just hopefully, uh, you know, have the knowledge and uh, just like everything to get a, open up a big business, yeah. Since I entered junior high school, grade seven, I always had like this drive to do anything with cars because my grandparents own a shop, and I've developed a passion over the years for cars, and I, my goal was to move forward in life like doing everything with cars. And Amy Lazard gave me that opportunity with this program. A lot of the people around here are very open and friendly. They help each other. If you ever have an issue with something or you can't quite figure it out, it's always okay to go ask someone. They're always willing to help. But even if you don't pursue a career in the automotive trade, it's great to know it's, to get the hands-on training you need just to own a vehicle. The fact that anyone can join, doesn't matter age, gender, your sexuality, it's open to everyone and it would mean a lot if more women could get into the trade. I'm really interested in this program because it taught me so many skills, especially in electrical where you can't really learn it by yourself and this program saves you so much money so and it'll be great for uh, all the upcoming technicians. Uh, it's a skill set, a way of learning that students will carry on to other areas. Uh, most of us here in CPS can pick out campus students just by a short conversation. There's a profound change that happens to these students. They're no longer high school students. They're, they're past that. They're beyond that.